Hey guys, today we are going to be unboxing the Zivid 2 3D camera and take a look at all of the accessories you can get with it. Next, we will take a look at capturing your first point clouds as well as some tips and tricks for capturing those objects. We'll start with the exciting part first, the unboxing of a brand new Zivid 2 camera. Small form factor, weighs only 880 grams, has two ports on the back, one for power, one for ethernet. Also in the main box, we have our power adapters as well as our ethernet cables. We also have accessories that go with the Zivid 2 camera. We have a stationary mount, robot mount, and a robot mount offset. So there we have it. We have our Zivid 2 camera, our ethernet cable, our power connections, as well as the accessories for mounting. Since the 3D camera is so small and lightweight, for my captures, I'm going to mount it on a UR5 robot arm. I'm going to be using an ethernet adapter to connect the camera to my laptop, but you can use your computer's built-in ethernet card as well, or the PCIe card of your choosing. Zivid Studio is already installed on my computer, and you can download it for free from zivid.com. Capturing images with the Zivid 2 is very straightforward. The first thing you need to do is connect to your camera using its IP address. Afterwards, it's as simple as point and click. You can use the first acquisition that's pre-made to test how your scene looks. If your scene is too dark or too light, what we can do is adjust our iris settings and our exposure times to increase the quality of our scenes. Another great option for getting good quality out of your scenes is to use the HDR function that Zivid Studio has. Then with two captures, we are almost guaranteed to get all the image quality we need. So there you have it. We completed our first Zivid 2 camera unboxing as well as our first point cloud capture. If you want us to capture more objects, send us a message at zivid.com.